quick comparison between the components of Wings of Glory World War II and the original game Wings of War World War II. The design of the boxes as you can see is exactly the same with a nice window that allows you to see the four miniatures that the game come with. The original game also had this plastic protection here. Each game comes with four miniatures that are very nice, very high quality. It is a dream for people like me that do not paint miniatures to be able to play with such nice looking, detailed, thematic miniatures without, without having to paint them by myself. The rule books. The original rule book contained a couple of pages of basic rules, uh, very basic, very basic, and then it had a large section of the book that was all for optional rules. A lot of optional rules presented in no particular order, and you could use some of these, all of them, uh, also through the scenarios at the end. But it was a little um, chaotic, it was completely left to you to decide how to organize the optional rules and you probably wanted to use at least some of those. The new rulebook is better organized in that um, now there is a section of the book which is for the basic rules, very simple. Then some extra rules are added in a section for the uh, standard rules. And then some of those rules that used to be together with the big bunch of optional rules now organized in a specific section called advanced rules. And then after the advanced rules you still have a lot of optional rules to choose and pick from. Uh, the idea here is that the rule book is better organized because now you have more of a progression. The optional rules have been put in an order that allows you to see uh, the game progress from a recommended basic to standard to advanced game that then you can still customize a lot. Uh, the consoles to plan movement, the new consoles have slots sort of like carved in that are very convenient because the cars this way don't slide around but the material of the consoles is not nearly as great as the material of the old consoles that I really liked. I think also the colors uh, were better. These old consoles look better, they are made of sturdy material but there are no slots so it is true the cars tend to move around a little too much at times. So the cards that are used to plan movement also have been redesigned. The old cards were uh, nice um, but not too colorful. They were a little generic in a way, which I personally did not mind. Here clearly what mattered the most uh, was the airplane rather than the uh, landscape at the bottom. Uh, you know, under the airplane, and they look kind of like almost like pictures, slightly modified pictures uh, taken from a satellite or from an airplane. But you know, the colors were pretty subdued. The new cards, both the airplane cards and then the landscape illustrations under the arrows, are uh, in much brighter colors. The cards are just more colorful. The landscapes have more detail. Uh, they are visually appealing, yes, but on the other hand, I also find them a little cartoonish. Um, I think that both sets and both styles of graphics have their pluses and minuses. And then you have a lot of counters, all the counters for speed, all counters for different types of of information that you need to keep track of depending on the rules that you're using and then damage counters that I place in those baggies and same here the special markers and the damage markers I'm not going to show you all the markers you know one by one comparing each type but I'm just going to show you actually in a comparison the old uh, speed markers with the uh, new ones, new ones and old ones. The markers in general have been redesigned, not the graphics are just better, they just look a little better, more modern, cleaner. From the point of view of graphic design I think the new counters, generally speaking, uh, look better, both uh, the movement ones and also the damage and information marker. But all markers are just as fun 
functional from the point of view of just delivering the information that you need to play the game markers for the old version and the new version work equally well these new ones are just a little more pleasant to look at so in conclusion the components have been uh, updated but not to me upgraded so significantly that the new edition is a must. Some things I still prefer in the old edition, some things are as good in the old edition as in the new one and then some things look better. But it is not a complete reworking that changes say an ugly duckling into a beautiful swan. It is just a different version that has pluses and minuses.